Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. I have an exciting video planned for you guys today. If you have a Kepler wallet, I'm going to teach you guys how to get set up with testnet tokens for Corium. You can't do much with it right now, but it's it's fun and exciting, right? Especially the people that have been holding Corium this whole year, collecting airdrops. Big news, the Corium testnet is live. Anyone can run a node, become a validator, and take part in consensus. Set up, great, set up guides and reward calculations have been updated. Find out more at quorium.com slash validators. And Zen Lounge Validator, remember, I said I was going to become a validator on Quorium this time last year. And I finally accomplished my goal. We have our Zen Lounge Validator up on the Quorium testnet right now. It's live. Really proud moment for me. Thank you who's been on this journey the whole time. But you could actually see the validator list. Zen Lounge was the 11th validator on this list. The Zen Lounge Validator is performing good. I've put a lot of time into uh, making sure we have a quality validator, you know, a high grade validator that the community can stake to because a lot of these validators are really powerful and really secure. However, uh, a lot of the ones that have been announced by Quorum, they're validating for multiple chains. They're doing things for tons of different chains. Zen Lounge will be hyper-focused on Quorium, we're gonna be governing it at the best level because we want Quorium to succeed long-term. So if you wanna to stake to a community validator, you guys could always stake to Zen Lounge. I'm also gonna shout out another validator in this video. Because sometimes there's people that don't even like me that watch my videos and they don't wanna to stake to me and I'll show you another community option. But uh, yeah, it'll be also if you guys support Zen Lounge uh, validator so that we're in the active set. We have a lot of things planned for Zen Lounge stakers. We'll talk about that later, but a really proud moment. We are officially live and you could find us on the test net and see how we're performing. Uh, I have the commission set at 10%. That was just how the code had it set up. It will be much lower once mainnet goes live. So this is exciting news. Uh, you basically could find out all the information on quorium.com slash validators. And uh, you can see who's participating, who will buy informal staking, Cosmos Station, big, big institution grade validators are already participating and community people uh, like myself and some friends have already set up their own community validators as well. So big news as far as I think we're in the right place at the right time. Uh, Sologenic MasterCard post, MasterCard CEO posted, I think we're going to have a world where everything will be tokenized and will pass around in a safe fashion. Bob Ross post, we all going to make it real Sologenic. Remember that MasterCard is working. Bob Ross is working with MasterCard on the Sologenic card. So they're going to be working with MasterCard, not Visa on the Sologenic uh, crypto card that lets you use XRP and Solo. So this is exciting news. There's this, I'm gonna do a deep dive into EU tokenized Europe 2025 initiative aims to boost asset tokenization. This was posted today. I'm gonna do another video going deep into that. So make sure to stay tuned, to subscribe to my channel, uh, put the notifications on my channel so you can get updated when I post a video. Cause I'm gonna be posting a bunch of videos. I post videos basically every day, just the past few days I've been busy with the validator. Also, I'm gonna be doing a deep dive into the digital pound consultation paper. Ripple's featured in it. It's a consultation paper on the digital pound, a UK central bank digital currency. There's some good gems I've found in both of these. So we'll be talking about this. And remember, everybody, let everybody know that holds XRP Solo to set up their trust lines for XCore. XCore is another airdrop coming for Solo and XRP holders. And let everybody know, March 24th, there's going to be a snapshot for a big airdrop for Quorum holders. I think basically you're going to be doubling your tokens. So you're going to be doubling your token count after this snapshot, which is really exciting. It's going to be life changing for some if this project is, is successful. Remember, crypto is very volatile. Please do your own research. And this is not financial advice, everyone. You guys got to do your own homework and, uh, you know, read the papers. Uh, that should be known anytime you watch a YouTube channel like this. But now I'm going to teach you the fun thing. So anybody that's involved in Cosmos, you know, Kepler is 
an amazing wallet and Corium is already uh, has uh, their testnet wallet on Corium. Uh, you could access the testnet uh, wallet with uh, Kepler. So what you're gonna do, I'll put this link in the description, uh, docs.corium.devtools slash ecosystems wallet. Click that link and it's gonna take you to you know, a page and you're gonna need, need to have your Kepler wallet set up. So I have my Kepler wallet extension right here. Very simple, you're just gonna to need to set up your Kepler wallet, get some private keys written down on a piece of paper and uh, keep that really safe. You could add it to your browser extension like I have it here showing you. And what I'm gonna do is connect to Corium Testnet. I had to hop over to Google Chrome. I was on Mozilla Firefox. I was trying to show you guys on a fresh wallet. So this is what it should look like once you're connected. So you're gonna hit connect and you're gonna to have to approve uh, the chain into your Kepler. So you're gonna push approve. And then what you'll do is click onto your Kepler extension, scroll all the way down. Then you'll see Corium Testnet, Corium DevNet options. Click onto Corium Testnet make sure that your address up here matches the address that the Corium website gives you. So this is now your address. So now we're gonna go back to um, this page over here. We're gonna click fund wallet. And what we're gonna do is go to our Kepler, copy this by clicking our address enter our address and request funds. And you could click this as much as you guys want. So what's amazing about Corium is the block time is, we can look right here, average block time 1.6 uh, seconds. So very fast, you could click this over and over again. Each time I think you get a hundred tokens. So let's look at my wallet now. Now I have 500 test four, so look, Let's watch it in real time. So I have 500, request funds. And now I have 600 test core tokens. That's about all you guys could really do with it. If you guys want to experiment with the test net, this is how you guys could have some fun. Um, you could exchange wallet addresses for with someone in the Quorum community and send test Quorum back and forth. So you just need to copy and paste your wallet address. And if I were to send it, you put the you put the wallet you want to send it to in recipient. And you say how much, and then you just push send, and you could send test core to a friend just for like a meme or something. So that's my video for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. So I have a few more things I would like to show you guys. So remember, we're going to do a deep dive into the Bank of England document. So one of the things that relates to Sologenic is uh, they need availability, providing reliable settlement services on a 24 seven basis. We know XRP Ledger works 24 seven and delivering, the, delivering those outcomes, a wholesale CBDC could facilitate the innovation and experimentation that is taking place in the wholesale markets, such as the development of DLT based exchanges and settlement systems where tokenized financial securities could be issued and traded. The Bank of England is talking about tokenized financial securities, just as Sologenic is hiring a securities market team to tackle the tokenization of securities market. We also have R3 basically saying the future of the financial liquidity and automated market making. Us in the Zen Lounge have been studying these topics for a whole year now, and now we see that R3 is also excited about automated market making. They're talking about AMA and decentralized liquidity pools are the subject of ongoing exploitation by central banks. There is great interest in, in adapt, adapt, adopting the control mechanisms created by DeFi for CBDC liquidity management. We show that this is possible with some refinement and careful design through important questions that remain to be considered. So I'm gonna be doing a deep dive on both of these. But same topics that we've been talking about in the Zen Lounge is featured in this from centralized to decentralized exchanges, why decentralized exchanges are the future and alternative ways to make a market. 
by having um, mark automated market makers like that. That could definitely happen when XLS 30 goes live with Sologenic. And we know Corium definitely will have capabilities to do uh, liquidity pools on its uh, for uh, stuff tokens on Corium. So uh, I got a lot of cool things planned for you guys, including also a bunch of other things. So uh, guys, thank you for everyone that supported me on my journey building this validator. I'm excited to uh, continue to do a lot of cool things. And thank you guys for turning into my channel and peace. I want to give a special shout out also to Synchrotron for shouting me out. He's also a community ran validator who's been with Solo Nation and Corin from the beginning. And he's also the one of the first community validators to go live. So he was live to see him too. So shout out to him. If you don't want to stake everything to the Zen Lounge or you don't want to stake to me at all, then you could also stake to a good friend, community validator that loves and supports and has a tech technical ability to be an amazing validator for the Quorum ecosystem. Uh, definitely love to see, love seeing what he's doing for the blockchain as well. So everybody have an awesome day and officially peace.